Welcome to the DMG Zone. I'm Scott. And I'm Hunter. We're going to go revisit uh, building an ARC server. And um, basically, I'm not 100% sure when it happened, but um, the previous video that I had um, no longer works. So we're going to link that to this. And we still have some other upcoming videos on how to um, do a multiplayer outside your own network, how to also do... Um, adjust the XP settings and all the server settings and last but not least how to do mods on your server but this is a new way to do the arc server so let's get to it the first thing that we're going to need to do is we are going to go to this link right here and download steam cmd okay it does have it for windows and all bunch of other uh, operating systems, but you basically probably are using Windows. If you're using the other operating systems, then you can find it and go through there anyway. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is download it. Going to put it in downloads. Okay, it'll do its thing. It shouldn't take that long. It's not a big file. And voila. Okay, now we're here. So what you're going to do is double click on it from your downloads folder. We're going to minimize this, minimize that. Okay, and I'm going to put this down here. The next step is to log in. We are going to log in under anonymous. How about I spell that right? And that would work a lot better. Um, again, this will only take a second. Um, basically, you're just logging into the Steam network onto their server. Um, the next uh, file path that we're going to use, or the next command I should say we're going to use, is force install dir. Okay, and then we're going to use the file path of I'm going to use the desktop file path so you can this will appear right on your desktop for you um, if you want to put it somewhere else that's up to you um, you can flirt around with that but basically slash users uh, how about I spell users right slash that will be this will be different for you this is my username so you're going to put your username in there and then you're just going to do desktop slash arc server and then as you can see it popped up right here okay make sure that you have a folder that says arc server that's what you were doing okay the next part what we're going to do is we're going to do app underscore update 37630. That is the identifier for ARC. And then we're going to type in validate. Okay. Now, as you see, it should start to do this. Um, I'm going to pause it here because it is going to take a couple minutes to go through this part and you guys really don't need to see it. So I will see you in a couple of minutes. And we're back. Okay, so here we go. As you can see that it has stopped, it's fully installed and you can see that there is a lot of data that it did download. You're it's going to depend on how fast it goes, your connection, your computer. There's a whole bunch of variables, blah, blah, blah. Um, most important thing is when you get to the end here, you have reached the end for Steam CMD for right now. Okay. And you just terminate the session. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and create a bat file or basically a launching command for the server. So you have your server here. It's all up to date. Everything's looking good. Um, you're going to go in shooter games, binary, Windows 64. And here's the sir. Here's the application that you're trying to launch. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is kind of a combination of the two. 
And what it's going to look like is something like this. Ah, uh, that's not the right one. Let's try bringing on the right screen, not something really, really trippy. Okay, so here it is. It's a start, it's a start command. And then you're going to be in your C drive users, whatever your username is on the desktop and arc server. Now that's just basically bringing you right to, I don't see where that went to, um, right to the arc server folder that we have that I can't seem to place. But this is basically when we open this up. Okay. From there, you're going arc server, shooter game, binaries, win64, and then you want to execute this application. Okay, that's basically what that command line says. So you don't need that anymore. If you put it somewhere else, this command line will be different. You're going to have to adjust it for where your location for where you put the Arc server. Okay, the next thing we're going to appear is that you have the map, Ragnarok, if you want the aisle in the center, blah, blah, blah. You would put that here. You can name the session name anything you want. Hobo Joe's Ragnarok, whatever. Um, then you have a server password to put in, a server admin password to put in, and then you come into the ports. I am going to do a little bit of research on these ports later on. You got to give me a couple of weeks uh, in order how to get your friends to be able to play over the internet on your server. Um, it's a little more complicated than just kind of putting it up there and the whole nine yards that way. And I want to make sure I have a good grasp on it before I try to start explaining it to you. So for right now, you want to do the 32, uh, 3802 port and the query port is the most important. It's 27015. That's the one that it is going to hook you into the ARC servers and kind of make sure that you're doing the right thing and come up in the ARC servers. Um, this will only come up under your LAN settings right now. I will do um, that research and then we'll get to do the unofficial servers, unofficial dedicated servers and all that other kind of good stuff. And then that way you can get friends to come in. Um, right now you're going to tell with this, you're going to tell it to still use all cores and auto manage mods. Now be careful of auto managing the mods. Um, we actually stumbled across it about a month, month and a half ago. There was a big update to one of the mods that um, we were using and when we went in one day it all of our stuff was gone it wouldn't work it was all locked up basically the mod had done a major update and none of its old stuff worked with its new stuff so um, be careful that's something that you might have to play with in the future it is a concern okay so what you're going to do with this notepad you're going to save it as Okay, and you can just do this right in here, and you're going to put it as an all file. Okay, and we're just going to do arc server dot bat. Okay, and we will hit save. Okay, now in order to get our server launched, it should be the arc server. This is the bat file, the, the batch file. All you're going to do is double click on it. Okay, you're going to allow the access. Okay, now the first time it does launch, it's going to take a little while. Um, usually anywhere from a minute or two. I'm going to pause the video right here, and then I'll show you the times on the back end of how long it actually took to go through. Okay, now we're in the final stretch. As you can see, it took 17 seconds for the primal data to download blah 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 you can deactivate battle eye if you want you can leave it on there if you want the command line that we typed in here is there it's launched um the server password is listed here along with the admin password along with the ser the server session okay and the number of cores so what's going to happen now is all we need to do is launch our regular arc as you can see the server is launched down here Okay, so now we see that R came up and we have our server running in the background. You want to press 
join arc. There it goes. And I already have it on the LAN, but as you can see down here, when you bring it up, you hit LAN, and then you'll have your server right here. Okay, now you'll end up joining, and when put in your password. Now there might be a little bit of a glitch here. I have run into it a couple times. I don't know if it's going to happen now. Um, it doesn't look like it, but if it just comes back to the original title screen, realize that all you have to do is join again, and then the second time it usually goes through. All right, and we look like we're running on ARC. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to give us a like if there's any other videos you guys would like to see. Um, go ahead and leave us in the comments any questions. I'll try to get to all of them as soon as I can. Uh, we will be making a video for mods on how to add mods to the server and how to add, um, do the different types of, you know, XP boosts and stuff like that and the sliders and the adjustment of all those other kind of good things. Um, and from there on in, I'm Scott. And I'm Hunter. You guys have a great day and we'll see you on the other side.